Amazon Prime Day may be over, but you can call me Optimus. Because it's a prime day for news about technology. No sooner did Apple launch a MacBook with an unlocked Core i9 6 core processor than tech nerds found a problem with it. Intrepid YouTuber Dave Lee has found that the Core i9 MacBook performs worse than the Core i7 version in many instances because of its extensive thermal throttling. In fact, while rendering a video, the CPU wasn't even able to maintain its base clock speed of 2.9 gigahertz. Only once Mr. Lee put the laptop in the freezer did it render faster than the Core i7. Another prime example of Apple's form over function design, refusing to add more powerful cooling to its beautifully slim device. So go watch Dave's full video down below and hopefully they will fix this in the next model. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. The European Commission has fined Google 4.34 billion euros or 5 billion US dollars. And that is no laughing matter. <laughs> Sorry. For anti competitive behavior regarding the Android platform. I mean, that is a lot of money, but then Google did make $9.4 billion in the first quarter of 2018 alone. So they're probably going to get through this. The behavior in question involves Google requiring manufacturers to pre-install apps like Google Search and Chrome in order to access the Google Play Store. You can make an Android variant without those apps, but you would lose access to the Play Store, which is what Amazon did with Fire OS, which they run on their tablets. The commission's ruling means that Google may be forced to include the Google Play Store in Android whether device manufacturers and carriers pre-install Google Apps or not. But that might mean that Google would need to charge for Android, and that's not a threat, Europe. That's a promise. Maybe, speculatively. Speculatively. And USB Type-C is continuing its crusade against all other connectors with the announcement of a new standard for VR. A big old gang of companies that always cooperate, including Nvidia, Valve, and AMD, also Microsoft, have announced their collaboration on a physical connector standard known as Virtual Link. Right now, Virtual Link is just like a regular link, but it's only in your mind. No, just kidding. Right now, VR headsets often have separate cables for power, video, and audio, not to mention other data. So Virtual Link, using USB-C, would combine all of those streams into one, whether they want to or not. The standard is expected to show up on next-gen VR and augmented reality headsets, but not those from Sony or Intel. They have not joined the Virtual Link Club, quite possibly because they think the name is terrible. But I mean, like, have you got a better one? The, the goggle cable, headset connect, VR troopers, really? We are troopers. We are, we are VR. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's time to be honest and call them what they are. Bits that are fast. Brought to you by Honey. Honey is a free browser extension that automatically finds the best coupons on the web. Coupons or coupons? You're, coupons. you're a coupon guy? Great, I'm happy to hear that. Honey tests millions of coupon codes for you so you can save money without even trying. They've partnered with lots of online retailers like eBay and Newegg to find you the best deals and they don't sell your personal information, which is more than we could say about a lot of companies. There's literally no reason not to add Honey to your browser today. It's free, takes just two clicks to install and can save you money with coupons. So go and join Honey at honey.com slash Linus or click the link below to add Honey to your browser today. On to the uh, bits that are fast. The Xbox 2 is coming. Ha, just kidding. Microsoft doesn't know how to count. But seriously, they are bringing some kind of new Xbox hardware to Gamescom in Germany in August. Maybe a PSVR competitor? Maybe another Kinect? Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding about that too. A water park in Erding, Germany has opened VR Slide, which is exactly what it sounds like. A water slide with built-in VR. Is this really a good idea? The headset is water resistant, but like, maybe I'm being old fashioned here, but what was wrong with regular water? Isn't that the point of a water slide? I mean, if, if I wanted a VR water slide experience, why wouldn't I just sit in my chair wearing a VR headset and having somebody like splash water? You know, we should try that later. That sounds fun. I don't know. Rolls Royce is developing little swarms of robots to crawl inside engines and fix problems. Are they German? 
because that seems like a German solution to a problem. You know what, instead of making it so that you can get the wrench on the nut, why don't we just make a new wrench? They're aiming to make the bots as small as 15 millimeters across, and I'm sure you've already thought of the scenario where these things go rogue and think that our bodies are engines and go inside and try to fix stuff, but, but, they, but they don't fix it. They just make it worse, oh, way worse. <laughs> GE has unveiled the Smart Countertop Microwave, which is a microwave, but smart, and goes on your counter, well, okay, regular microwaves can go on your countertop, but, but the point is, they can cook food after you scan the food's packaging with your phone, which I'm sure is so much easier than just kind of looking at about what mass of food you have and eyeball, I mean, think of all the free time we're gonna have now for virtual water slides. And finally, Swiss researchers are working on a system that allows drone pilots to use their body to command the tiny aircrafts rather than a joystick. <laughs> I can think of some parts of my body that could substitute for this finger. That's right, what were you thinking? Participants were better able to complete flying challenges using the new system compared to traditional, to, to, to traditional controls. So soon, we can look stupid doing things in real life exactly the way that we do in VR. And that's it for Tech Linked, boys and girls. So if you didn't know, this is a show about tech news. They know that, they just sat through it. Well, I don't know. You probably should have, yeah, see, you probably, you even knew they should have. Why would you even put it in there? Like the video if you liked it. We post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, except when we're gonna be on vacation soon. So subscribe to get your fix. Now I need to go get my fix, AKA my lunch, I already ate lunch.